my lovelies. Thank you for joining me for another episode of Writing Rants, W-R-A-N-T-S, your home for all things creative writing. So for today's episode, I want to address protocol for submitting your book to publishers. Um, I, you can find a lot of resources online about the simple steps that you can take, but one of the major first steps is to check out their website. Um, most publishers have a tab of specifically dedicated to submissions that will give you clear instructions on how to move forward. Um, so I created an over-the-top fun little skit to show you the first impression that publishers get from writers who actually don't follow their instructions. And again, this is over-the-top. I had a lot of fun making it, so I hope you guys enjoy it. Oh, hi, you must be Abigail. It's a pleasure. Uh, no, I'm not, I'm not Abigail. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were my 10 o'clock. No, I don't like making appointments. I find them stifling to my creativity, you know, sticking to a schedule. It's just so rigid and, and like militant and bleh. But there wasn't anybody in the lobby, so I think we have a little bit of time to talk. Oh, I, I'm actually a writer, like a really good writer, and I'm looking to get published. Well, we do offer publishing services. Our niche is romance and literary fiction, so I can put you in contact with, let me stop you right there. My book would be perfect for your company. One, my book is fiction. Like, I totally made it all up. I mean, some of it is based on my life and stuff, but like, not enough to be a memoir or anything. And it's romance. Like, my two protagonists, like, fall in love, and the girl's ex comes back to cause trouble in the new relationship, and, like, they actually break up for a little bit. But don't worry, they, they get back together in the end, and they even get married and stuff, and so, you know, it's still a romance. It sounds like this could be a good fit for our company, but we only accept submissions from September to December and from April to March. I know, I saw that on your website, but I know my book is like perfect for you guys. Like, I know you'll love it. I didn't want to wait until then because I didn't want to get smushed together with all the other submissions that you guys must get. And I mean, I could have sent it in an email, but like my business writing is not as great as like my creative writing. So I didn't want you to judge me before you had a chance to like read my actual story. Actually, I brought it with me here. Wow, you have a lot here. Oh, one, two, three, like five, six notebooks. Yeah, it's like 150. Oh, no, 127 pages. And this is your first draft? Yep, I'm actually good. Like, I'm a really good writer, so I, like, don't need to, like, revise at all. Like, I never reread any of my essays for school, and I pretty much have, like, all A's. Oh, so this is your final draft. My raw genius? Yeah. <laughs> okay, you're confident. That's good. But I must tell you that we only accept typed submissions. I figured you'd say that. Like, I don't really like computers, so I'd really rather just pay you guys to, like, type it out for me. That's a great suggestion, but unfortunately that's not how we operate. You can certainly find a third party to type out your manuscript for you, but until you have a digital copy of your book, there's no way we can move forward. I understand. So I'll just leave this with you, then after you read it, you can decide if you'd be willing to make an exception. Please don't leave your only copy here. I so I'll stop by on like Friday to see how you like it, okay? Friday? So you expect me to read a 500 plus page manuscript in two days? Yeah, I mean, this is like what you do, right? I I'm sure you're more than capable of reading a book in two days. This one especially because it's like really good. Like you won't be able to put it down. But I don't wanna keep you from your meeting and stuff. So like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna skedaddle, okay? See you Friday. Wait, ma'am, ma'am, I can't. And she's gone. Like I said, I had a lot of fun making this skit, and I hope that you guys had as much fun listening to it as I did creating it. Um, I want to thank the listeners that have been here with me since the first episode. You guys are fantastic. You guys give us the motivation to continue <laughs> doing these silly skits and writing these ridiculous rants, but I'm glad that you guys enjoy it, and hopefully we can get more people to enjoy it soon. So if you have any friends, co-workers, siblings that might enjoy my crazy, have them subscribe to my channel. 
Um, for those of you who are poets out there, the Word Count is hosting a weekly poetry contest during the month of July. All you have to do is stop on by our Facebook page for submission details. It's free. You'll win free advertising. And all you have to do is post your poem on social media as you usually would and add a few tags and hashtags so that we can find you. So I hope to see some of your submissions there as well. Until next week.